Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Buccaneers playbook. About a week ago, maybe a little longer, I put out the full breakdown of this playbook. And uh, this, along with the Broncos, the Panthers... Uh, these are some playbooks that I've been pushing pretty much all year that are some of my favorite playbooks. I would say that as far as a passing playbook goes, Buccaneers are definitely top five. And it's all about this formation here, the gun tight. It also has uh, a really popular formation in the split close, uh, which a lot of people use. Um, I'm not, I haven't really touched on that formation too much. If you want to see me touch on that formation next, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But for sure, today's video is going to be about the gun tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off, I'm going to show only passing plays today, only explosive home run touchdowns from this playbook from this formation and quite a few of these you can probably find in other playbooks a lot of them in different names like the buck seams is also called the pa shot seams uh the pa bucks cross is in a lot of different playbooks with a slightly altered name uh typically the uh the team playbook that it's in and that's the play that i'm gonna start with today the pa bucks cross this is something that is very unique and beat a lot of defenses we're gonna start off uh, we're going to go coverage to coverage because this can beat multiple defenses and the adjustments don't really change. So a lot of form, a lot of plays in this formation really have uh, similar adjustments. Um, and I'm not really going to change my adjustments based off the defense. I'm starting off on a cover three here, even though that might not look like it. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to make the same adjustments pretty much every time, which is streaking these inside receivers um, so they can pull the, uh, the defense back. And then I have my choice. I can either motion out Godwin here or I can motion out Perriman. It really doesn't matter. It'll have the same effect. I typically like to motion out um, the Y route though because against man coverage that's going to help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion snap him half the time. And you can see, I mean, this just creates an ungodly seam over the top. I, I really like, I prefer cover three beaters that don't cross the field. Like the old way to do it used to be crossing the field. But you can see the, the point of certain routes will really pull the cover three cornerbacks uh, down and, and play with them in a way that other routes won't do. And this one here, you can see how all the movement it's making is really making the, this cover three outside cornerback hesitate. And it's not really having the same effect on the other side. And a large part of that is due to the motion too. Like I said, if I were to motion out this receiver here, it's going to have a similar effect but it's not going to have as dramatic effect. So you can see right here, I mean, this is, I could have thrown to the other side as far as a check down too. It really depends on who I motion. It really doesn't matter because it'll have the same effect. But the real, you know, key to this puzzle is just how crazily and insanely wide open this is. From after, from just about 20 yards on, I can bomb this ball. So there's no real blitz pressure that's going to get there to me within a 20 yard distance that's going to stop a play like this if somebody's running a cover three. Because you can see how he's so quickly open. I don't have to wait for him to accelerate or cross the field or anything like that i can just bomb it up right away now this play i have cover two beaters i'm going to go over here in a minute this is more of a cover three beater and more of a man beater but if i am going to run it against cover two you can still have success with that all you have to do is just leave uh, Evans here on his uh, drag. I redragged it because it's a little bit different. And now you can see how this B route is going to have success uh, outside. So like I said, this play can really have success. He really can be a home run against multiple different defenses. If I leave him doing what he's doing, it's not as good, I would say, as you can see right here. I mean, I'll, I've got to keep doing that motion, though. But you don't have to do the drag. Like, I put him on a full drag. You don't have to do that. But you can see how it's it's a little bit more effective and uh, just running out of bounds a little bit. But you can see this play can really be a home run. Now, if I were I mean, if I want to really make sure that I hit, get that home run though, I could definitely throw it from the open side of the field. It'll definitely be a lot easier due to you know having more catch and run space. So now I probably can get that home run without a problem. So here we go one more time, hitting that B route, just waiting for him to turn up. Not sure if I have the speed, but eh, we'll call it a touchdown. <laughs> Might have been, you know what I mean? Might have been down to one. So let's move on to the next defense. So in a cover two man, before I move on from this play, uh, cover one man, it'll work the same. I don't recommend running this against a cover zero. If it's a cover zero, a man blitz, I mean, you're just going to want to drag players and hit drags on a, if, you, if you come out in this play. But if it's a cover two or a cover one, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Streak these inside guys one more time. Block your running back. And then I'm going to basically motion snap this guy right here. Go ahead and wait. I'm going to snap him before he gets outside that 50. Because you can see if you're watching this uh, cornerback here, I, I kind of safe caught it as I ran out of space. But if you're watching that cornerback there, that route really does a dirty job on man coverage cornerbacks. It won't if the cornerback gets his hands on the receiver. So like I said, I'm motion snapping before he gets to the 50. Now he's got inside release. You can see how this cornerback just bites to the inside. I think that's Josh Jackson. I think it's one of their faster corners and better corners. 
um, if I'm not. Yeah, no, actually, Bradbury is still a pretty decent corner. But either way, so he bites on the inside. Most cornerbacks will. And then if I just time the throw, I'm, I'm leading outside. Now, if I had turned up a little bit, I probably could have got more. I'm not going to say this is going to be a home run necessarily, unless it's a cover one. If it's a cover one man, it's going to be a home run because there's no safety over the top. The safety won't be there, and I can catch and run it. But um, you can see how it's going to, you know, it's going to be very successful all day against that play. And the reason that you don't want to let him stop is because watch how this how this uh, this cornerback gets his hands on him and redirects the route. That won't happen in man coverage one. Actually, he gets away with it there. Sometimes he'll get his hands on him and he'll stay with him. It's not 100% when he gets his hands on him. I'll go ahead and I'll see if I can get that look. But a lot of times this guy will will get his hands on him, like right here. You can see he's got that's perfect leverage. He's probably going to be all over that. So like I said, you don't want to let him get that get that leverage and get hands on the receiver. You have to snap it before that happens. Like I said, that's man cover one. A lot of times you can take that up the sideline with no problem. So the next play um, that I use quite a bit, once again, is the buck seams. Like I said, PA shot seams. It's got different names in it. Uh, but we're going to go, we're going to pick this one right here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna go coverage to coverage once again. This time we're going to start off with cover two. Because that last play wasn't as good a cover two play as this one is going to be. So this play can be run a, a couple different ways um, against cover two, especially which is what I'm in now. Um, but it really depends on like where you are on the field. Like I can do a couple different things. I can try to isolate Baldwin's route, uh, which is probably one of the easier ways to do it because b both ways to beat this defense is going to be outside, whether it's Perriman or whether it's going to be Baldwin. Um, ultimately, if I want to, I can either motion across one of these receivers and uh, put him on a streak. Once he's in a bunch, I'm just going to put him on a streak. And then I want to put the X route here on a flat. So I have my choice. I could either do that with the receiver or I could even do it with the running back. If you want uh, to have an extra route, you can always put the running back on a streak, motion him across one time, and then once you motion him again, he's going to go into that same spot and slot. So it's really up to you um, if you want the extra pass protection or not. Obviously, it, a lot of times the extra pass protection is going to be helpful. Uh, but if you're really trying to attack vertically, you can do this because the B route a lot of times will still have success. And then you can see right here, I mean, I pass led a little bit too much outside. That's why I was saying it really matters where you are on the field before you start to play so if I want to you know wherever I want to attack I typically want to make sure I'm from you know f the furthest hash mark as possible so like I said right here if I want extra protection for send a little bit extra heat uh, I could always block um, you know block the RB route have the same look uh, and then I can you know I'm gonna have success with this outside route like I said I don't have to wait too long once again before I'm just basically rat catching and turning up the sideline so really easy play against cover two if I want to run it that way I can also flip the play and have success uh, with the other route, with the uh, with the the wheel route there, uh, by doing the same thing, motioning him out, uh, putting these inside guys on streaks. In this scenario, putting the B route on a drag would make the most sense because it'll help to pull that cornerback down before he gets too deep on the X route. You can see he's going to have to react to that, and then you have this outside look. Now, once again, running out of bounds is going to be an issue because of the pass lead, but you can see how you know you can really hit a home run to either side of this play and really have a successful look. So if you want to motion, if I motion a guy to the line, number one, when I mirror these motions to the previous play and to the next play I'm going to show you, you're going to see how it's going to be hard for your opponent to really decipher what you're running. By motioning to the to the line, um, that's something that I use on a lot of other plays as well, but it's really up to you. It's, it's, neither, neither one's really going to give the play away. So right here, I threw that a little bit early, but the cornerback definitely, um, you know, he definitely bit on the drag. That's the whole point of the drag. And then we get, you know, with the slight alteration, we get another big explosive play out of the same formation. Now, like I said, you can also do this against cover three. Now I'm in a cover three look, and the exact same principles apply. It does not matter who I motion out. I typically want to try to work the side where the receiver is, though. So motioning him out so that he can basically pull that cover three cornerback out with that same, you know, it's not, it's not as dramatic as a window as the first play. You can see because it's a little bit more basic. With the route he's running is a little bit more basic, and it doesn't pull that cover three cornerback down the same way uh, that the previous uh, route does you can see right there the cornerback doesn't bite nearly as hard, but it's still there You know, I mean it's still got the window So if you find yourself in this play and it's a cover three you can have a very similar uh, look as you did the first play Now this particular play is probably gonna be a little bit better against like a man zero uh, Which is something that I mentioned uh, previously 
um, that the uh, previous plate was not really that great of a Manzir because the route that I was targeting really took a little while to get going. But on this particular play, uh, the B route is going to be very good. It's going to be a much better play. I wish I could block the tight end to make it even better, but I can't. So it is what it is. So like I said, man zero. This is going to be a much better play than the first play because Perriman's route is really going to get open quick. So you can see right here, he just basically beats that right at the side. If it's whether it's man zero, man cover one, it's going to have the exact same effect uh, because certain routes are just designed to beat certain defenses and certain um, you know certain defensive uh, coverages, certain defensive uh, assignments. You can see right here, uh, this route right here. I mean, watch how that cornerback just bites on 19 as he just steps outside he bites down and then he just accelerates right past him either inside or outside typically inside but that's going to be something that if you run into a lot of man zero blitzers it's going to be a very easy route to attack so to recap one more time um you know like i said these two plays beat just about every defense in the game i already showed you how this beats cover two cover three home runs both times uh man coverages cover two especially uh and then i showed you how um, you know, this next play here uh, beats cover three, cover two. It beats, um, you know, cover cover zero, cover one. I didn't show, but it'll do the exact same thing. So you really can beat just about any defense in the game using just these two plays, which is why I said, like, to me, they're two of the best plays in the game. And this is definitely one of the best formations in the game. So if you want to see more plays of this, because I definitely have more, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. And I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.